Hello, and welcome to tutorial number one on how to use Hub effectively in your house. I'll start with the definition of Hub. Hub is a bilingual digital learning uh, platform developed by Welsh Government for all state schools in Wales. Every learner and teacher is provided with a Hub login to, or in order to access the statutory online personal assessments. There are many other free additional services offered through Hub, which can be used in school and at home. These include Microsoft Office, Google G Suite for Education, Encyclopedia Britannica, Just Too Easy, Flipgrid, Minecraft, and loads of other things that you might be able to use at home during these really weird times when some are at home and some are at school. So what we're trying to do is teach you today how to log into your Hub account. And we've done a bit of this in school, but if you're doing this at home, it might be new. Okay, so the first thing to say is that Miss Holland has spent hours and hours putting together individualised packs for you all, which is coming through the post as we speak. On this pack of information, you will see that you have a, a login and you have a password. Okay, you need to keep that safe and only to be used by you, your mum, your dad or your carer. Okay, so have that piece of paper ready and I'm going to show you how to log in. So first of all, you need to find your web browser. So that's either Internet Explorer or Chrome. So I'm going to go on to Chrome at the moment. I'm going to type into the address bar right at the top here, Google, and it brings up the search engine, okay? In that little box there, I'm going to type HWB, which is Hub, and press Enter. And that brings up Hub as a website, okay? So this is the page that everybody sees when they log into Hub. There's lots of free resources and you can have a look at the new curriculum if you want to. And really importantly on this page, if you want to learn about how to stay safe online, which is what we do a lot of in school, there's some really interesting resources there for mum, dad or carer to help you stay safe online. But for today, we're just going to try and log in. Okay, so we'll scroll right back to the top of the page and we'll see it that along the top here, there's a button called Log In. You're just going to click on that for me, which will bring you to this page. And then you're going to use your details on the letter Miss Holland said as provided to log in. Okay, so I'm going to type that in uh, now. These are my details. I'm a bit of a slow typer, but that's okay. Then I'm going to click next, and I've got it wrong. So this happens with technology, okay? Sometimes you get things wrong, that's okay. So I need to go back to the beginning and try again. That should do it, that's better. So I made that, made that correction. Then I need to type in my password, which is in the box over there, okay? So you're not gonna see this, because this is private to me, and you shouldn't be sharing yours really either. And then I'm gonna click sign in. Okay, now I know that I've signed into Hub because those things at the top have changed and all of a sudden you can see my initials, D Jenkins, that's my initials, and that's at the top there. So you know you've logged into Hub successfully. That's the end of the first tutorial. In a minute, I'm gonna record another one to show you how to access your emails, okay? So that's it for now. I'll catch you in a minute. Bye.